Good evening, and welcome to our evening service, which will be led by the Reverend David. Special welcome if we have any visitors with us. We do trust that we'll be blessed as David brings us a message from God's Word. A few announcements. The Hiding Place, which is an incredible story of Corrie ten Boom and her family who hid Jews in Holland from the Nazis. There's a play going to be shown, and the venue is the People's Church, 64 Molusk Road. That's paid the door, and the door's open at 7 p.m. Anyone wanting a lift on Wednesday evening, please meet in the car park at 6.30. And there is no midweek as a consequence on Wednesday evening. And the AED training will be run on Tuesday the 17th of March and Thursday the 26th of March at 7 p.m. each evening. If you haven't already done so and you had put any night, uh, could you indicate whether you will come on the Tuesday or the Thursday, remembering that you only need to attend one of the evenings. Ravenhill Nursing Home, um, there will be a community meeting next Friday at 6.30 in Silverstream Primary School for all concerned about the closure of Ravenhill Nursing Home. Copies of our church accounts are available in the foyer. The team and mission will be with us next weekend from Friday until Sunday. And next Sunday morning service at 11 a.m. is a family service, which will be led by the Reverend David, following which tea, coffee, and a biscuit will be available in the main hall. And our evening service at 7 p.m. is a youth service led by team and mission and all ages are included in the meaning of youth, so there's no excuse not to attend next Sunday evening. Prayer is available following this evening's service, so if you would like prayer for yourself or on behalf of someone else, please do come up to the front or speak with any member of our prayer team. And finally, our thoughts and prayers are with the family circle of Mr. Billy Reed, who died in Wednesday past. The funeral service was held in the church yesterday morning. Thank you, Robert. Let's continue to worship as we sing together, Immortal, Invisible, God Only Wise.
and let us pray together. Almighty God, our eternal Father, we worship you. At your word, creation rose. You are the maker of the heavens and the earth and the seas and all that they contain. When you made the world, we know you made light to shine. And ever since, the sun has risen on the evil and on the good. Every day is your new gift to us. And we thank you that we have come to the end of this day, and now we are gathered here to worship you. We are here to thank you for your goodness and your mercy, and to ask your blessing upon us as we come before you. We come in the name of Jesus, who is the light of the world. May that light shine undimmed in us. May his glory be known by every race and nation as they gather throughout this world to worship his name today. Into the darkness and confusion that threatens this world, shine forth your light and your truth. In a prayer of confession, eternal God, we are here before you not because we have earned any right to come. We are so aware of our continuing failures and shortcomings. They are all open before you. The weaknesses that others see, the ones only we know ourselves, those that are only clearly seen by you. Forgive us in that sometimes we refuse to face up to our faults, refuse to admit that we need your grace, remain unrepentant and perhaps unforgiven. Remove from us our stubborn pride, our lame excuses, and our all too ready submission to weaknesses that often assail us. Through Christ, who has borne our sins in his death and who offers us daily deliverance, heal, forgive, and save us. Draw us into such a living relationship with him that we discover the new strength for living that comes from his dwelling within us. And we join together in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And now the praise group will come and uh, lead us again, and then Elizabeth will bring the reading after that. At all times, his name, his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. And we'll do that now.
just give you thanks and praise for everything you do for us and for everything that you mean to us, Lord. But most of all, we thank you for the Lord Jesus. We just pray, Lord, that you'll be with David as he brings us your message. And all of this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Tonight's reading is 2 Peter chapter 1, verses 12 to 21. Prophecy of Scripture. So I will always remind you of these things, even though you know them and are firmly established in the truth you now have. I think it is right to refresh your memory as long as I live in the tent of this body, because I know that I will soon put it aside as our Lord Jesus Christ has made clear to me. And I will make every effort to see that after my departure, you will always be able to remember these things. We did not follow cleverly invented stories when we told you about the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but we were eyewitnesses of his majesty. For he received honor and glory from God the Father when the voice came to him from the majestic glory, saying, This is my son, whom I love. With him I am well pleased. We ourselves heard this voice that came from heaven when we were with him on the sacred mountain. And we have the word of the prophets made more certain, and you will do well to pay attention to it, as to a light shining in a dark place until the day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts. Above all, you must understand that no prophecy of scripture came about by the prophet's own interpretation. For prophecy never had its origin in the will of man, but men spoke from God as they were carried along by the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Elizabeth. In our prayers for others uh, this evening, I'll take our prompts from our prayer focus and pray for the circuits in the south, in Burn, Athlone, Tullamore, Galway, and uh, Cork and Kerry. And then uh, pray for one of our World Development and Relief Partnerships, the um, Debane Water um, Project in Zimbabwe. You maybe recall when Tim Dunwoody was here a uh, few weeks back. That was one of the um, projects that we heard a little bit about. And then the Faith and Order Committee. And we pray for ourselves and for our own um, church as well. Gracious God, we thank you for today. We thank you for the service this morning here uh, led by uh, the MWI ladies. And we thank you, Lord, for uh, the wonderful service it was and for all who contributed uh, to it. And we, we, we thank you indeed, Lord, for so many women in this church who contribute such a lot uh, to the life and work and witness of this church, uh, day in and day out. And we thank you uh, for them, for godly mothers and grandmothers and sisters. And we ask, Lord, your continued uh, blessing upon them all and upon their work uh, for you here in this church. We pray, Lord, for some uh, who are laid aside because of sickness, uh, some, Lord, who have been bereaved in recent times. And again, we ask your grace and strength and comfort for them. We pray for our Methodist Church throughout Ireland, and we pray for uh, the Burr and Athlone and Tullamore uh, circuit. Uh, we pray for Cloda Yambasu, who superintends the circuit, and for Nigel Gill, who is uh, um, probationary minister there. We pray, Lord, for the uh, Galway and Balance Slow Circuit and for Helen Freeburn, uh, who is a Presbyterian minister who um, leads that joint Methodist Presbyterian church. 
Uh, Lord, uh, encourage her and give her uh, vision and stamina and strength and bless her, Lord, in all her various responsibilities. And then for the Cork uh, South and Kerry circuit, a large uh, geographical area with six churches and fellowship groups uh, within it. And we pray for Karen Spence and for Andrew Robinson and for Geraldine Gracie. Uh, we pray for the folks who work in the sheltered um, project in Cork and for the lay assistant uh, working in you all. We ask, Lord, that all of these people will know your encouragement and your blessing and that there will be continued spiritual growth in these places and that you will be honored in it. We pray, Lord, for our Faith and Order Committee, uh, for Sam McGuffin and Linda Neelands, who co-chair that. And we pray especially for David Turtle, who convenes it, and uh, as they uh, do quite a lot of work at the moment, um, redrafting the Methodist Belief document, and as they have a number of other things on their agenda that they will be uh, reporting on at um, conference this year, perhaps, we pray that you'll bless them in preparation for all of that. And then, Lord, we pray for the church throughout the world. And uh, this evening, we just think of the um, Dibani water, water um, uh, project in um, Zimbabwe. And uh, we know, Lord, that um, Zimbabwe has gone through difficult times in recent years uh, for all kinds of different reasons. And we know that um, some of them are um, man-made, uh, some of them are uh, natural and perhaps who's to know what the exact reason for that is and uh, we just ask Lord that you will bless this particular project that tries to provide a more reliable uh, water supply for uh, the people and for agriculture uh, for growing uh, crops more effectively throughout the year and for uh, particularly in the dry seasons so Lord bless this project and thank you for our little bit of involvement um, in it uh, through Irish Methodists. So gracious God, you know all the various cares and concerns that we hold in our hearts for our own family and friends and loved ones and neighbors and people in this church. And we thank you that wherever we are, as we were uh, reminded uh, this morning, we can have a great impact by being faithful, prayerful people and holding up before you uh, daily uh, those needs that concern us. And so we thank you, Lord, that as a congregation we gather to pray now in these few moments. But help us, Lord, to go from here, challenged to pray more faithfully and regularly and effectively, not just for these things we've mentioned, but for all the other things that you lay upon our hearts day by day through the ministry of prayer that is at the heart of what we do. So hear us, we pray, for Jesus' sake. Amen. And now we bring our offering to God for his work and glory. <coughs>